going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be getting ready for egg re-rolls which are confirmed to be coming back to 23 tomorrow now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching around youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so if you missed gmm this morning or missed my video over on the main channel it's 100 confirmed by ea egg re-rolls are coming to the sugar rush promo tomorrow morning about 10 30 a.m eastern time when part two of the promo drops so in today's video on the no money spent account we're going to be pretty much quick selling everything that's in our binder that we're not using as far as players go and we're going to stack up or stock up on training now i don't know how much i'm going to be able to get and there's not really a set number that you should have to be prepared for it we're going to get as much as we can without spending any of our coins and we'll probably look into or think about maybe spending some of our coins right now we're only at about 840k due to the 5 million that we're not going to be spending with the ltd glitch packs so i don't want to blow the whole bankroll on eggs even though it's fun that's something we'll do over on the main account where we got more coins to play around with we did make some changes to the team as well a bunch of different things you know this is a variety video we do the diary style videos over here on no money spent so you can see every move that i'm making and we added a brand new 99 overall wide receiver to the squad a big reason why i've been able to build this no money spent team and continue to make coins or keep a good coin count and a competitive team is due to ltd rentals and yesterday we got weekly wild card chris godwin and i got this card for four hundred eight thousand coins and it's a 99 overall receiver i mean with strategy items and boosts and everything I think it's a pretty good one and it's a ltd so it quick sells for 350k which means at most it costs me about 58,000 coins to rent this card when i'm done with it i can quick sell it and get the majority of my coins back and i'll show you the team in a moment we'll, we'll point out all of the other ltds on the squad but you can see i got him boosted up to 99 speed 99 deep route running 98 short and mid his catch and jumping both at 99 as well this is a really good slot receiver deep out elite and route tech for a total of one ap i think he can get short out elite for zero ap on this card but he's better off as a slot receiver for me uh so we did end up selling our combine julio jones and i'll show you that assuming that my notifications kept track like they normally don't and do sometimes but we sold that card for like 300k which means it really only costs us about a hundred thousand coins to upgrade from godwin and when we're done with him we're gonna get 350k back which is more than you know we were or less than no more than what we got back for selling the julio so here's the offense we still got leonard fournette as an ltd still got Devonte adams as an ltd they are all gonna hold their value we got the raheem moster in the competitive pass for the next two weeks that will probably be my running back number one once we earn that card and Fournette will be out of here. Not because I think that he's not as good uh, as this Moser card will be, but we're on a mission here to get to all 99 overalls to build a 99 overall team. And I think Moser might get me there. It could, he could end up being a 98 as well like Fournette. We shall see. But free over, you know, 400K return to me is also a big deciding factor. Defense hasn't changed as well, but Jesse Bates is an LTD. We got George Karloftis, Furious George. And I'm thinking about selling this card because when I bought it, if you remember a few episodes back, it was like 550k I think I spent for it. Somewhere in the 500k range. This card's now up to like 800k and though it's been extremely productive for me, it might not be a terrible idea to sell this card and maybe go pick up Gregory Rousseau instead, who's still going to give me that unstoppable force X factor, but slightly cheaper, and that could save us some coins. Uh, we got Jason Taylor in LTD rental. This card has been way better than I expected him to be. Uh, got him up to a 99 overall edge threat elite double or nothing for one AP. He's been very productive in house rules, which we maxed out, finished up today. And then we still have Aqib Talib as an LTD. So a bunch of different rental cards there. There is a LTD middle linebacker coming out tomorrow that doesn't look like the greatest card by any means. Probably a good run stopper, but that's about it. 
but because I'm confident he's going to be about 400k, another LTD rental option, I might pick him up because he's a 98 overall and will likely be a 99 overall with chemistries, which means that'll give us one, get us one step closer to forming an all 99 overall team. So wanted to give you that update on the one move that we made and just kind of my thoughts on the roster here. But the main goal of this video is to prepare and get ready for egg rerolls. Uh, so here you go. There's the Julio. We sold him for 320 and then the Chris Godwin that we bought you can see here we bought him for 408k so pretty good day there between him and Jason Taylor basically 299s that we picked up over the last couple days for both under 450k each not going to complain two more 99s on the squad we did play some solo challenges this morning and I know what you're thinking pop when are you going to unlock your free aka card we are getting there slowly but surely we're at 244 stars now a little under 100 stars to go we're getting there these solos are so boring so tedious but i do want that shack maniac leonard card on the team so we'll continue to play through those eventually we'll have a no money spent episode where we do make our pick and add that player to the team and get an upgrade there uh, i did knock out actually it's going to be at the bottom i did knock out my weekly wild card solos we're all up to date on these which means we got two fantasy packs we're going to open up here in a moment along with some other things that are in the binder but i also want to show you and talk about a little glitch slash exploit slash something you can take advantage of if you choose to uh, we maxed out house rules so we're on the ps5 right and if i go to my rewards you can see the reward grid we hit all of the levels is it worth it probably not the first three levels are because you get two small eggs and one medium and they go rather quickly the next three take forever and you get two smalls and one medium again personally i don't think it's really worth it but it, it is a no money spent account and we really wanted to grind it out but from what i've been told if you have a ps5 you can go back and play the PS4 version of the game. Now, I don't have it installed in on my console here, but normally when you go to your menu, you hit your start button and it will say like choose game version and you can go ahead and select the PS4 version if you have it installed. If you do that, you can go in and play house rules on old gen and you can get up to level three, get these three eggs, and then you can go back to next gen and do it all over again. It just keeps resetting your progress. So you can essentially get unlimited eggs for free and we may make a video in more detail on the main channel about that but i wanted to throw that out there shout, shout out to my guy raid dog for this or for the tip there on that so if you want to switch back between ps4 and ps5 versions and play house rules you can continue to repeat these rewards and keep getting free eggs if you look at the whiteboard behind me we're up to 19 eggs on the no money spend account and that's going to include all of the things we've gotten from field passes from house rules we're still hanging on to our egg fragments and we do also have some packs to open up in this video we're going to quick sell everything everything that's in our binder that we're not using on the roster is going for training now we had been uh selling cards that were non bnd and getting coin in return but i want to stock up on training for egg rerolls now so we got our ea play pack which was not very kind to me on my main account we'll, we'll see what we get here doesn't look like this one was any better 284s and an 87 but we will be quick selling all of the elites we got another 89 overall fantasy pack from the aka solos that we're slowly getting through here it doesn't matter which one we pick because they're all going to quick sell for the same amount and that's exactly what we're going to do with it uh two more packs three more packs open we got an elite pack this came from i believe the season four field pass so if we can get something in the 90s like 92 plus maybe that would be very nice instead we get an 82 and an 89 so that wasn't great all right so we we've we've locked out on this pack before we got week 10 and week 11 we pulled the 97 overall kirby joseph we're at 98 overalls now can we clutch one out and get a usable nice card on the team 93 obviously isn't great but it's also not terrible because we're guaranteed a 90 in this pack and we got something above that so i will be happy with that obviously we're going to take the 93 here it is a bnd card so it is going to get sold for quick sold for training and we're going to do that in a moment but before we do we got one more pack this is from week 11 that the content dropped from this tuesday give me a 98 or a 96 all right we got a 93 i'm not going to complain because it's not the bare minimum but i'd like something better and we got the same results a 93 and a 90 
So we're going to again take the 93. We'll hang on to our coin quick sell packs, our strategy packs, and we are still slowly but surely uh, building out these 84 overall team builders to get team affinity tokens for eventually getting 99 overall free Dar uh, Darius Slay for free on this account. So now let's go in and we're going to quick sell everything we're not using. I'm not really sure how much I can expect to get in return from everything that's in our binder i've forgotten about a lot of stuff that's in here but let's see what we end up with we got the 95 overall javon holland i really want to try this card out but he's just too far left behind it's not a very usable card on this 98 overall team unfortunately uh and it looks like everything else is going to be 93 and below uh and a bunch of 89s these are all from the aka solos those are going to give us the bulk of our training some other random elites here and i know we have quite a few of like the mid to low elites 85s and below because remember we were selling all of these cards and we kind of stopped at that overall and hung on to the rest of them uh so a nice amount of these we'll see what this all totals i would love to be you know well over 300,000 training if i could get closer to 400k that would be great but uh i don't think we're gonna get quite there we'll hang on to all of our golds and here we go 232 plus 125k is going to give us a grand total of 357,000 training on the no money spent account so we will be bringing that into the game tomorrow with egg rolls we might try to get a little bit more uh, in between then but at minimum we got you know 350k basically to work with we're going to open up a bunch of egg roll packs hopefully they give us random packs that we can open up and everything we get from them we're going to hang on to and save for easter sunday when the eggs hatch but that's it for now thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular strange I'm out. Peace.